Hello everyone, this is uh, Antonio again, back with another video on my favourite ROM, Cloudy G3. I've um, finally decided to uh, to install this new version. If I just show you it here, on my eight, on my D802, I've now got um, Cloudy G3 2.0, long awaited. So there's a change log that tells you. Uh, what's changed and uh, you can see that on one of the links below but I just wanted to give you my experience so far with what's happened so I been uh, I've been using 1.3 happily probably for a month or, or more and with no intention to change whatsoever um, one thing that I was surprised that I wasn't able to do is um, as you can see here I'm using the exposed modules uh, but if I go to uh, sorry, not this one, to developer options. If I try to select the art uh, runtime instead of the Dalvik, it tells me that it's going to use it and I need to reboot, but then when it reboots, it goes back to Dalvik, so I'm not able to use that. Not that I really want to. The other thing that um, I noticed, um, which was uh, really uh, annoying to say the least, is that coming from version uh, 1.3 to, uh, to version 2.0 I used the default uh, well I used the fill Z recovery that I had installed to uh, wipe and prepare for a clean install and um, doing the installation uh, proved to be very smooth i was able to uh, use the aroma installer successfully i specified my device correctly to the d802 uh, i put all the extra little bits and pieces that were available and by the end of it it looked as if it'd gone right but then i got this stupid pop-up that came up i can't remember but i'll put it in the description below but it was something to do with the uids being inconsistent and do you feel lucky press ok so basically you press OK, that would disappear, it, it would look as if it would behave normal, um, but every time you would reboot, you would get that same pop-up again, only once, telling you that you the U, uh, UDIDs or whatever they were called um, were wrong, uh, or something was inconsistent, and uh, feeling lucky, you press the button and just continue. So it was very annoying. So the only way I could get out of that in the end, because I tried to um, install the D uh, recovery, uh, APK, which is, if I, I'll just show you very quickly, I managed to get a hold of, um, where did I put it, well, I can't remember where it is, but basically it was a um, uh, an APK that, that put the uh, twerp 2.7 version and uh, thus overriding my Phil Z. Now, with the twerp installed, uh, which looked good, I managed to uh, I, I put uh, Flashify uh, so that I could uh, boot into the recovery. I was able to um, to, to basically uh, install the ROM, the 2.0, by doing a clean um, install and uh, going on top of uh, what was on there, but it gave me the same problem. I tried it a couple of times, still the same problem. Very frustrating. So in the end, I thought the only way I'm going to be able to do this is to go back to Phil Z and um, some forums were saying uh, you probably need to fix the permissions. Uh, in Twerp you uh, you can fix the permissions but it kept giving me an error message. In Phil Z I got the Phil Z recovery back on, I installed it via, um, I think it was via Twerp itself. Uh, I was able to clean the permissions but uh, in the end um, Sorry, you can't clean the permissions in um, in Phil Z because they've done away with that. So there's there was no way for me to do it. That's why I put Twerp to try and uh, fix the permissions all to no avail. The only option was to basically uh, put a Cyanogen mod for me. I put Cyanogen mod 4.4.4 ROM uh, on top of this um, corrupted version, and I was able to basically uh, have. Uh, Cyanogen mod running smoothly without any error messages. Then on top of that, with Phil Z recovery, I installed version 
2.0 of Cloudy G3 and it gave me no error message. I then proceeded to go to my usual, uh, one of my favorite apps, which is Titanium Backup. And, in the, and then in that process, I was able to get all the 210 applications that I've got here. Not that I ever use all of them, but I've got 210 applications. I was able to put them all back on there. Frustrating thing is this uh, this uh, YouTube on on this version here. Um, I'm not able to put the um, the actual widget. If I just show you in the widgets, the new version of YouTube for some reason on this and the 1.3 that I had before, you don't have the option of the widget, uh, which is quite frustrating. Um, so I can go back into my backups the best five pounds I spent was on this application because I'd be lost without it and I've got it backed up on Dropbox and other places the NOLED is also another very good application you might want to have a look at that one and where is it has it gone there YouTube right, if I restore that version let's have a look there is all app and data because I've got it set to automatically update my version of uh, YouTube let's see if it's going to do this ok, this has been updated so if I delete that remove widgets hopefully the, the this version of that, yeah, that's there Yeah, let's think about it. Make that a little bit bigger. So that looks really good. And then if I go into my Play Store and look for YouTube, just make sure that I did not update that. So don't auto update. Okay, um, it's um, very fast. Um, ROM, I, to be honest, I don't see many differences, uh, hardly none as far as I'm concerned it's supposed to be faster the scroll effect is supposed to be greater or something um, uh, everything here seems seems fine my alarm is still working perfect um, everything is in here some people complain that they didn't have the eco mode in there but as you can see it is there if I wanted to select it I could but I never use it uh, go back to how it was my quick remote is working very well as well the new one. Um, I did notice the camera is uh, a little bit better. Uh, I'm not using two cameras like I was before. Uh, this one camera seems to do the trick pretty well. So I can just point and shoot. So I just, uh, uh, there's a breadcrumb there. Actually, let's put my coffee cup there. Just add my espresso. So I just uh, point, touch. Bang, does the picture. If I select at the top there, then I can actually get it to zoom in and then bang, take the picture. Okay, my battery's running out. Uh, the phone's been working heavily tonight. Um, the battery, uh, I don't know how good it's going to be on this ROM. It's probably going to be just as good as the other one. As long as you get over a day's worth of battery, that is pretty good for anybody's standard. So, on that note, the battery being good, um, if any anyone has any questions please feel free to put them down in the comments below myself or somebody else would answer them if they can and um, this has just been uh, my, my personal view and experience of uh, making the jump from 1.3 to 2.0 thanks again everyone until the next one take care